Hello, welcome back uh, to a very messy van and messy me. I didn't even brush my hair, but we left uh, we left Great Yarmouth this morning. We've just stopped in Kings Lynn. We are at the Tesco here because what we actually needed to do yesterday was do a bit of laundry, but with the wind and the rain, we, we sort of thought we might set off from Great Yarmouth yesterday afternoon to get up to Cumbria and just find find a nice park up for the night somewhere on the way uh, so that we had less of a drive today. But the the wind just came. Uh, we sort of, we wasn't really expecting it. We weren't keeping too much of an eye on the weather because we, we wasn't expecting sort of such a, a big stormy weather. Uh, but Storm Nelson was coming up from Spain or something. So last night, I think I think it was gusts of up to 50 mile an hour. So obviously we couldn't have the... We basically packed everything up yesterday afternoon. The wind started and we were just like, let's just stay here for the night. So we parked so that we were sort of like right up to the um, hedge on our pitch. Um, and then we wasn't being battered sideways by the wind because it was just rocking the van so much. Uh, I left my shoes outside. Woohoo! So I've actually... <laughs> put my socks on put my socks on and then i've put a plastic sandwich bag over my sock and then put my foot in the shoe so we've stopped at tesco like i said we needed to do laundry well instead of on the way waiting a couple of hours for laundry i've just bought some extra knickers for charlotte some leggings for charlotte some socks for the kids and obviously some new shoes for me and then while i've been in tesco I found these. They have no women's shoes in the Tesco here other than some flip-flops. So I got a pair of flip-flops um, for £6. And then I got some of these. They're a little bit sparkly. And I got these out of the kids' section. Thank God I'm a size 4. So I got those. So I'm happy with those. And then I just got an extra couple of um, pairs of cycling shorts for myself. While I was in there, Kevin tried to ring me to say all of the toothbrushes have fallen out of the toilet cup in the bathroom and down the toilet. George has left the seat open on the toilet. I mean, the toilet cassette was shut, but we've still had all of our toothbrushes in the toilet. So he's gone in search of new toothbrushes. So he's just arrived back now. Okay, well, we're gonna set off again, find an Aldi, do a shop before we get to the campsite. We've got, we've got a couple of hundred miles to do. So we're gonna get on with that. We've had to take a detour because there's been an accident on the main road on the A47 and it's pretty much at standstill so Google's brought us this way and actually it's not a bad run is it? Take the next left onto not really, Lane. we are moving but the roads are a bit holy. Yeah, well, the, ro the road was, the A47's not great. Um, for potholes and stuff, is it? Continue on Garner's Lane for one and a half miles. Kids are just chilling in the back. Continue on East Bank for half a mile. Oh, we wouldn't have seen this, would we? I was just about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> bridge now. Oh, some rain coming down over there. Like the weirdest rainbow ever. It's not really a rainbow. It's just like a sheet of rainbow. I wonder if that, that is like what the normal parts look like. We've just pulled off the A1 onto the A66, which was, which is the way to where we're going. And it's been glorious sunshine, hasn't it? <laughs> like, there's been clouds in the sky, like nice white clouds. And uh, to the west, we could see like quite a dark area of sky. And well, we've turned west and we're, we're right in it now. And it's 
it's just yeah we've got the rain we've got drizzle it's a little bit misty you can't really see you can't see very far you know what since pulling off at scotch corner mm. we've gone from 15 to 8 degrees seven degrees we've lost on the temperature um, hopefully it clears up in 70, 72 miles we've got until we get there Thank you. We're just having some chicken fajitas with sour cream and hot salsa. So we arrived in Cumbria, well, arrived at Blaithwaite House which has a campsite and that was, I guess that was around 6 p.m. We're here, we've had chicken fajitas for dinner which were really, really nice. So now I'm just uh, having a bit of a tidy up. My sister has arrived, they arrived about an hour before us, my, my sister, my brother-in-law and it sounds like they've had quite a journey to get here in the caravan. Uh, but yeah, the kids have met up with the cousins and they've had a bit of a play, but with it being so late, we've just sort of got on with dinner and then we've, uh, we're settling down now for bed. It's just gone nine o'clock, the kids are all still up, but they've been sat in the seats all day, traveling from Norfolk. So, and then we'll make the beds and get them to sleep. Maybe make some hot chocolates for them. Got until Monday here and it's Friday now. So we're spending um, Easter Sunday here as well. Might have a bit of a, a chocolate egg hunt on a Sunday. Big There's hill. definitely something up there. I saw like a green building. Oh. I wonder if it's a light district. Maybe. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, go back up to the top and do it again then you'll be fine. As long as as long as you're alright. <laughs> to go take a video of George riding down the massive hill down there when he came off it spectacularly. Oh, is he right? Yeah, he's fine. Yeah. Yeah, he's absolutely fine. He took it really well. Did he just get up and get on his back again? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's walked it back up to the top to come down again. <laughs> yeah. It actually smells so nice in here. You can hear Edward coming down now. <laughs> You know that spray oil? It's mm. just rubbish, isn't it? It's like, so it's, bad. You can't fry anything with it. Oh, I know. Whatever you put in it just burns because it doesn't coat the bottom of the pan. Once we've used up the bottle and then put normal like vegetable oil in, I don't mind it then. Like because it just sprays out. 
Yeah. Like, <clears throat> and that's what we've got at home, but we've brought one of the actual original ones with us on holiday, and it's it's proper pants in it. Yeah, they are rubbish. They've got recycling bins here, I think, as well, which is better. They didn't have recycling bins at Vauxhall. They didn't, yeah. That, it, it bugged me because half of the stuff we were getting, well, most of the stuff we were getting rid of it's just packaging, isn't it? was recycling. Yeah. I think, though, like with a site that big, people, people don't recycle. So if you put recycling bins out and you pay for a recycling bin, then they, it can't be collected. Because people have just chucked a load of rubbish in there. Yeah, people will be putting have, everything then, in, won't they? Yeah, then you have to then go and empty it into a normal bin, and it's just more hassle than it's worth. Yeah. Like we have a recycling bin at work, and if someone puts normal rubbish in it, it will just be left. So you've got two weeks with like no one <coughs> emptying the bin. Yeah. <coughs> Bless you. And I think the onions are done, and we'll turn them off. You're right, Maggie. <laughs> yeah, they smell done to me. Mm-hmm. We got the sauces out. No, we didn't still didn't, we didn't get mustard again, did we? No, we didn't. No, we've just got tomato. I know I forgot about the mustard. The mustardo. Mustardo. Same time. Aldi brioche rolls, don't we tell you? Dead nice. Mm -hmm. This time, instead of doing the grill, I'm just going to put the oven on. Yeah. And then just put the pack in and just warm them all up at the same time. Yep. So don't, like, I don't like them grilled, but they don't need to be grilled, do they? Don't them on a tray. I'm just going to put them on. Yeah. Hot dogs. So, they're done. Mm-hmm. I'll be warm already, will it? It's Uncle Dave. Uncle Dave. Right, Uncle Dave. Mm. Yeah, George is Uncle. You had your hot dogs? It's everyone's uncle, not just George's. <laughs> it is George's uncle. <laughs> hey, how fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Should have an apron on, really, shouldn't you? I did, I did. Oh, they do look really, really, really good. Don't want Dave. Are you sure? Yeah, that was super fast, George. I've never seen you go that fast before. Estimate what speed? Estimate. I'd probably say like 20 miles an hour or something. Let's go find the other park, eh? Go on then, run ahead. Off to explore, aren't we, girls? Yeah. Gonna see what we can explore on the other side of the house. Hello, doggy. Dog. Hello. Doggy. Nice doggy. doggy, yeah. I think did the baby one. Come baby on then. You think it's a baby doggy? Baby doggy. A baby doggy. This is really nice, isn't it? Oh, baby cat, here we go. Baby cat! Baby cat! <laughs> Every animal's a baby dog or a baby cat. <laughs> That's a very big cat, very much bigger than Pluto that we've got at home, eh? Yeah. Come on then, this way. It's beautiful here, isn't it? Wow, yeah. That's the barn where they do evening stuff. Very good. Easter Saturday, Bunny Bingo bar opens at 6 pm. Do you want to have a look in the rose garden? Yeah. 
Come on then, go through that door. Go on, girlies. That's it. Oh, this is very nice, isn't it? This way, girls. This way. Down there, look. This is the rose garden. It's like a secret garden, isn't it? Hey. Look, there's tulips. Oh, that's a really beautiful tulip, isn't it? To the right, that's it, good girl. Follow Charlotte, Maggie. Go on then. Good girl. We've got goats. Welcome to our Blaithway animals, Iceman and Caramel our pygmy goats and live here with their chicken friends. <laughs> Have you seen these goats, Charlotte? Oh, they're just relaxing in the sun, look. Hello. Hello. What was your name? Iceman and Caramel. Oh, aren't they cute, Charlotte? Yeah. And you've got a football field up there. This park right here. Are you looking at them goats? Yeah. Goats, yeah. So thank you for watching everybody and come back later in the week and see part two of what we get up to here at Blaithwaite House. It's just so beautiful and there's actually so much more to see. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe too. So much for watching. Bye.